ناصرت الواقع بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ازا وقعت الواقع نہیں سلے وقعت ہا کاذبہ خافظت الرافع ازا رجت الدرد رجن ببستت الجبال بسن فکانت ہبا من بسن یو سی دی ریدم یو نو دس از دی بیوٹی دی کلیری بیوٹی وین دی ایونٹ ویل ہیپن دی ایونٹ واقع مینس اسا لیسا لے وقت رہا کازبا there is no belying in its happening it will happen it will come خافظت الرافع it will humiliate some and raise some when this event comes some people will be humiliated degraded and some will be honored and exalted اذا رجت الارض رجا when the earth will be shaken with a severe shaking and the mountains will be crumbled to pieces and powdered and they will become like scattered dust and you O mankind will be divided into three bands three groups so the companions of the right How happy shall be the companions of the right? Was Habul Mashaba? Ma Habul Mashaba. And the companions of the left? How wretched shall be the condition of the companions of the left? Was Sabekun as Sabekun? And the foremost will be the foremost. Ulaik al Mukarrabun. They shall be brought very near to the Lord. Fi Jannatin Naim. In the gardens of bliss. Sulatu min al Awwalin. A multitude from the ancients, the kalilu min al-akhirin, and only a few from the later generations. Ala sururin mazuratin, on couches woven with gold and precious stones. Takina alayha mutakabilin, reclining on them, facing each other. Yatufu alayhim vildanu mukhalladun, and there shall pass around them immortal youths. Be akwabin wa barika wa kasim min ma'in. With goblets and jugs and a cup from a clear wine. La yusabdaun anha wa la yunzafun. They will not suffer heaviness, nor will they be intoxicated by that wine. Wa fakihatim mimai takhiyarun. And such fruits as they will choose and order. Wa lahmatayrin mimai yastahun. And the flesh of the fowl, the birds, as they desire. Wa khurun aim. And There will be wide-eyed huris, kaam salil lu'lu il maknoon, like the hidden pearls, jazaam bima kaanu ya'maloon, a reward or recompense for what they used to do. La yasma'oona fiha lagwam wa la taaseema. They will not listen, they will not have to hear in that, no vain talk, nor of any sin. Illa qeelan salaman salama. Accept the saying, peace and peace and peace. These angels will be coming and saluting them. Peace. So this was the highest level, Mukarrabun. This was mentioned in Surah Al-Rahman in the end. Here it is the first thing, the mirror image. Now, was Habul Yamin, ma was Habul Yamin, and as far the companions of the right, how happy shall be the companions of the right, the lower degree of the people of Jannah. That is the highest, Mukarrabun. Now these fi sidrim maqbud amid thornless low trees wa talhin mangud and clustered banana trees wa zillim mamdud and the spreading shades wa maim maskub and the water flowing wa faqiyatin kaseera and fruits abundant la maqtuatin wa la mamnu'a neither ending nor forbidden wa furushim marfu'a and couches upraised inna anshana hunna insha we have created them their spouses but here the word who doesn't appear we have created them by special creation fajalna hunna abkara we have made them virgins oruban atraba loving equals of age li ashab al yameen for the companions of the right sunnatu min al awwalin a multitude from the ancients wa sunnatu min al akhirin and a multitude from the later generations also so most of us if allah blesses us 
can hope to be from among this group. The former group was for the people who were nearer to the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Sahaba and Tabi'een, and only a very few from the later generations. But as for Ashab al-Yameen, multitude from the former, multitude from the later. Ashab al-Shimal ima Ashab al-Shimal. And the companions of the left, how wretched shall be the companions of the left? Fi samumin, in the burning winds, wa hamimin, in boiling waters, wa zillim min yahmumin, in the shade of dark smoke, la baridim wa la kareem. Neither cool nor pleasant. In the Umkanu Kabla Zalika Mutrafin. Surely they were they were before coming here in the year after in the world they were affluent, they were rich. Wakanu Yusirun Al Hin Sil Azim and they used to persist in the greatest sin, that is Shirk. Wakanu Yakulun and they used to say, Aiza Mitna Wakuna Turaban when we shall die and we shall we, we shall become only dust vaizaman and bones ainala mabusun shall we be resurrected awa abawna lawalun and also our ancient fathers they have been resurrected all say to them oh muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam inna lawalina wal akhirin verily the ancients and those of later generations the majmoon they will all be gathered ila miqat yawm ma'lum at the appointed time of the known day summa innakum ayyuha dhallun al mukazzibun then surely you o the erring ones belying people la akiluna min shajar min zaqum you will have to eat from the tree of zaqum famaluna min al butun and you will have to fill your bellies with it fasharibun alayhi min al hamim and then you shall drink on top of that boiling water for sharibun ashrab al heen and you will be drinking in, drinking it as the drinking of a thirsty camel haza nuzuluhum yawm al din this will be the hospitality offered to them on the day of recompense now come the creation majesty of the creation of allah subhanahu wa taala which we find in the first section of surah al rahman here it is coming in the latest nahnu khalaqnakum falawla tusaddiqun we have created you why do you not admit the truth and believe in the messenger and the resurrection afaraitum ma tum noon do you consider the human semen which you emit antum takhluqunahu am nahnu al khaliqun do you create them Or we are the creators. Who creates them in the wombs of their mothers? You just emitted the semen, and that's all. What's your role? Who creates them? And you take no clue now. Are you shaping them from one shape to other? Am nahanul khade poon. Now there are going to be several questions like this. and after each such question we should reply bal anta ya rab no no oh our lord you do it not us we don't do it it's your deed nahnu qaddarna bainakum al maut wa ma nahnu bi masbiqin we have ordained among you death and we are not be overcome ala nubaddil amsalakum that we may change your forms wa nunshiyakum fi ma la ta'lamun and we create you again in forms you know not you know when we die these bodies of ours will be disintegrated now new bodies will be given not these bodies this body is ever changing this body of mind today it was it's not the same body that it was yesterday many of my cells have died new have been created my blood How many millions of the bread bread castles have died? New have been created. So there is a continuous change going on. Then I was some time I was young, of robust health. Now I am old, grey hair. So actually this body will disintegrate, 
another body will be given with another physical loss. And here it is said, Numbat jala am saalakum, but they will be like you. But Allah will create them. And nul shia kum fi maala taala moon. Now that form that you'll get for the hereafter, you can't understand. Walakad alim tumun nashat al ula. But you have known absolutely the first creation from a sperm drop to a full human being. So why don't you get the admonishing that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created from the sperm drop a full man, even Socrates and Plato and Alexander the Great and so on and so forth from that drop of sperm? Why can't he create again the like of them? Now, number two. Afar ayatum ma tahrusun. Have you considered that which you sow in the field? Antum tazra'unahu am nahnu zareun. Do you make them grow? Or we do it? What do you do? You have sown the seeds. That's all. Who is making it grow? Have you any contribution? Valanta ya Arab. Palanta ya Arab. Oh Lord, you do it. Now the shawla jalna hutaman. If we will, we could make it a chef. Padaltum tafakkahun, and then you will remain lamenting. In Nala Mughrabun, we have been laden with debts. We had invested so much in this, and this is gone, destroyed. Bal nahnu mahrumun. Nay, we have been deprived. Number three. Afarayatumul maal ladhi tashrabun. Have you ever considered this water that you drink? Antum anzaltumuhu min al-muzne. Am nahnu al-muzilun. Have you sent it down from the clouds? Or we are the senders? Balanta ya Rab. Oh Lord, it's you, not us. Now the Shao Jalna Ujajan. Had we willed, we would made have made we would have made it bitter. Falaula Tashkurun. Why don't you thank us? Number four. Afarayatumun Naralati Turun. Do you consider the fire that you kindle? Have you grown the, grown the trees for that? Or we have done this. Balanta ya Rab. Nahnu jalnaha taskiratan. We have made it a sign, a reminder. Babatan lil muqween. And boon for the dwell, dwell, dwellers of this desert. In the desert there is a special plant. By rubbing the branches, green branches, fire comes out. And the same, you know, bamboo trees, when they are young, if you rub them, fire comes out. So from green trees, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is mentioned Surah Yasun also and here also. فَسَبِّحْ بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الْعَظِيمِ So you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, glorify the name of your Lord who is great. فَلَا أُخْسِمَ بِمَوَاقِعِ النُّجُومِ Now here are eight ayat regarding Qur'an. Very stern, very stiff. I told you, that was in the beginning, four. الرحمن علم القرآن خلق الإنسان علمه البيان So that he should be able to express and teach and propagate Qur'an. He gave him the faculty of bayan so that he should propagate and convey the knowledge and wisdom of this Qur'an. Now, فَلَا أُخْسِمُ بِمَوَاقِعِ النُّجُومِ Nay, I swear by the places of the setting of the stars. وَإِنَّهُ لَقَسَمُ اللَّهُ تَعَلَى مُنَ عَظِيمُ And this is a mighty oath, only if you could know. This is very important. Today we can know. But when Qur'an was coming down, people couldn't know what it means. Now we have the concept of black holes in the space. Big stars, they shrink, become a point, and there is a hole. Everything which passes thereby, it is drawn into it and finished. These are the black holes in the space. Full galaxies have already disappeared. So this is Salaam Simbi Mabaka in Nujum. See the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking this oath. No, I swear by the places 
where the the stars go down. Why now? La kasamul la taala mu naasin. Only if you could know. This is a very mighty oath. Inna hu la Quranun kareem. And now what? On what this oath? Verily, this Quran. This is a very honorable Quran. Fi kitabi maknoon. It is in the hidden book. This is not Quran. This is the copy of Quran. The real Quran. Wa inna hu fi ummi al kitab la daina la aliyun hakim. Surah Al Dukhan. We have read already. The real book is there. Fi ummi al kitab. And then we shall read in the last part. Fi lawhim mahfuz. Bal huwa Quran al majid. Fi lawhim mahfuz. The protected, preserved tablet. And here it is. Inna hu la Quran al kareem. في كتاب مكنون لا يمسه إلا المطهرون nobody can touch it but the only most purified people who are those they are the angels this is the book of their with Allah سبحانه وتعالى in His presence who can touch them touch that book the angels absolutely free of sin absolutely free of sin Mutahharun, who have been purified. Now, from this ayah, the a legal question has been derived, legal issue, that we shouldn't touch Quran except when we are pure with wuzu. This is correct, but this ayah means something else. This is referring to that Quran. This can be touched only by the most pure and the highest level, Malaikatul Mukarrabun. Only they can touch it. The Aidi Safarat in Kiramim Barara. In the last part again we shall have it, the mention of it. In the Hula Quran and Kareem, Fi Kitabim Mamnoon, La Yamasuhil al Mutaharun. And there's another meaning of this, La Yamasuhil al Mutaharun. Nobody can reach the essence of Quran unless he has purified his self. You might have remembered it. Just as the Quran is there on the tape, tape recorder tape, it can be in my mind, in somebody's mind, some half his tongue, but that doesn't mean he has the Quran. One might be a scholar, can write books and books and books on Quran, but he doesn't touch the nucleus of Quran. Cannot go. To go to the nucleus of Quran, to the inner meaning of Quran, you have to purify yourself first. That is why we find in Quran first tazkiya and then talim. Huwa alladhi ba'asa fi al-lumiyina rasoola minhum yatlu alayhim ayati wa yuzakkihim wa yuallimuhum al-kitab wa al-hikma. Tazkiya must precede education. Otherwise, you'll have gathered a lot of education, a lot of information in your, in your brain, the memory of your computer. But to no avail, you won't be able to absorb it into the depths of your personality. For that, you have to purify yourself first. La yamassuhu illa al-mutahharoon. There is a complaint of Allama Iqbal. I don't remember the first sentence. It says that although the angel comes and takes away your life. Tere wujud ke markas se dur rehta hai. The angel cannot touch. Farishta maut ka chhuta hai go badan tera. Tere wujud ke markas se dur rehta hai. You might be you know, learning Quran and this and that. But you know the heart of Quran. The essence of Quran that you can't touch unless you have purified your intentions. Lillahiyat. To live for God, to die for God. Man ahabba lillahi wa abghada lillahi wa ata lillahi wa mana lillahi wa qad istakbal al-eeman. The very famous hadith. Whomsoever, if he gives something, he gives for the pleasure of Allah. If he holds back something, he holds back for the pleasure of Allah. 
If he loves someone, he loves only for the pleasure of Allah. If he hates someone, he hates him only for the pleasure of Allah, not for his own nafs. So such a person has completed his iman. فَقَدْ اسْتَكْمَلَ الْإِيمَانِ اللَّهُ مَجَلَّا مِنْهُمْ All of our actions to be motivated, motivated only by the love of Allah. No other motivation. If I give something to my own body, this is because Allah has said that this is the right of your body. وَإِنَّ لِنَفْسِكَ عَلَيْكَ حَقًّا Your own nafs has also a right on you. One thing is that I am giving it to my nafs because my nafs, my nafs demands and I love my nafs. So I am obeying the demand of my nafs and providing it with it. The other is that my Lord has fixed the right of my nafs also on me. So I have to cater to its need. The motivation is changed. Although you might be doing the same thing, but the motivation is changed absolutely. فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِمَوَاقِعِ النُّجُومِ وَإِنَّهُ لَقَسَمُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى هُمُونَ عَظِيمٌ إِنَّهُ لَقُرْآنُ الْكَرِيمِ فِي كِتَابٍ مَكْنُونَ لَا يَمَسُّهُ إِلَّا الْمُطَحَّرُونَ تَنْزِيلٌ مِنْ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Its revelation and sending down is from the Lord of all the worlds. أَفَبِ هَذَا الْحَدِيثِ أَنْتُمْ مُدْهِنُونَ This is a question, piercing question. What? So is this the recital, this bounty of Allah, that you are taking lightly. Can't learn Arabic to understand this book. How much importance have you given to this book? Can't learn Arabic. So as to be able to read it directly with your own eyes. How much time do you devote to understand this book? Afa bihad al hadis and tum mudhenun mudahanat, not paying its paying it its due. You know, I started my movement in 1965 with a booklet, Muslimano par Quran e Majid ke hukuk, the obligations Muslims owe to Quran, the most fundamental pamphlet with which I started my mission. It's now 35 years back. What are the rights of Qur'an over us? Do we fulfill? What's the value which we attach to Qur'an? أَفَ بِهَادَ الْحَدِيثِ أَنْتُمْ مُدْهِنُونَ وَتَجَعَلُونَ رِسْتَكُمْ أَنَّكُمْ تُقَذِّبُونَ And you have decided that your portion from it will be that you are denying it if you are not fulfilling the rights of Qur'an over you, you are denying Qur'an. Had you really believed that this is Allah's word, would you take it so in lightly? If a letter comes to you from President Clinton, how do you feel? This book, love from Allah, it's there, placed on some high place in your house. You have learned everything, all the trades, business and computer and this and that, and engineering and medicine, not Quran. This is belying Quran by action. By tongue you say, I believe in Quran, this is the word of Allah. But your action, your attitude, your behavior says you don't believe it. Otherwise you couldn't have taken it so indifferently and so lightly. So why then? When the soul reaches up the throat of the dying person, when a person is dying, you know, and then here in this throat, a special type of sound comes out from here. When the soul reaches up to the throat of the dying, and at that, that time you are watching him. Your father is going before your eyes. He's going. 
Can you save him from the death? You are seeing, you are standing, can't do anything. Your beloved son, maybe the only son, is going. Someone is there taking it away from you. Can you take him back? You are there seeing, watching. At that time, we are nearer to him than you, but you can't see. The angels have already come to receive him, but you can't see them. Then why? If you are not obligated to us, you are not subordinate to us, why don't you bring it back if you are truthful? Bring the life of your father, bring the life of your son. Do you have any authority? No. You are totally subjected to us. لائی حیات آئے قضا لے چلی چلے اپنی خوشی سے آئے نہ اپنی خوشی چلے اس وقت دیکھری بائی دی دیکھری افلا سبحانہ و تعالی فَأَمَّا اِن كَانَ مِنَ الْمُقَرَّبِينَ Now the three groups a lasting mention is made so if the one who dies before your eyes if he be of those from مقربین who are going to be very near to Lord فَرَاهٌ وَرَيْحَانٌ وَجَنَّةُ الْحِيمٌ For them there will be rest and ease and garden of bliss. وَأَمَّا إِنْ كَانَ مِنَ سَحَابِ الْيَمِينَ And if he is one of the companions of the right, فَسَلَامٌ لَكَ مِنَ سَحَابِ الْيَمِينَ Then be in peace regarding the companions of the right. They will also be in comfort. You don't have to worry for them. وَأَمَّا إِنْ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُكَذِّبِينَ الْضَالِينَ That as for who? As for him who was from among the beliars and astraying ones, gone astray and belying the revelation of Allah and the message of the messenger. فَنُذُلُمْ مِنْ حَمِيمٍ So then the hospitality will begin with boiling water. وَتَسْلِيَةُ الْجَحِيمُ And then the roasting in the hellfire. إِنَّ هَذَا لَهُ حَقُّ الْيَقِينَ Believe it, surely this is the truth of certainty. It is no stories. It's not the fables of the ancients. It's reality. It will happen. فَسَبِّحْ بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الْعَظِيمُ So glorify the name of your Lord, the mighty. سبحان ربی العظیم